Our Lord, pray do not concern yourself with my welfare. My current investigation has yielded some curious results, and at present I am pondering how best to proceed. Excuse me, lad. This might sound strange, but you haven't by chance seen a fellow what looks exactly like me? I'm looking for my twin brothers, see? And I heard they might have come through here. They could be dead for all I know. At least it feels like I've been chasing ghosts for an eternity now. As you have doubtless witnessed in your travels, the lands of Eorzea are gasping under the pall of a suffocating darkness. I must wonder if it is this darkness that invites disaster, or simply that disaster has left such gloom in its wake. One thing is for certain, now is not the time to relax our vigilance. Knowest thou the import of the broken staff within the solar? It fell from the grasp of Archon Louisois, the man who, in his abiding love for all Eorzeans, shielded us against the storm of the Calamity. The stars wheel across the heavens, and the skies brighten once more. The survivors gather and ignite a fiery dawn to burn away the glowering shroud. Ah, but destiny, thou art beautiful. Walking ones from Ulda have not seen these ones before. This one knows. Still, must walking ones make such screaming sounds when seeing this one's face? This one cannot get a wink of rest. Look, Naraxia, I realize that this makes no sense to you, but you must try to be more discreet. Years ago, a law was enacted in Ulda, whereby, please, just trust me and stay out of sight. Naraxia and I both wear a mask. We're going to get along famously. I just know it. If only Master Garland were still with us. He was a brilliant man, full of life and purpose. Kind and generous, he taught us everything we know about engineering. Though believe me, he could also be a very hard person to please. He would force us to completely rebuild devices if even a single flaw was discovered. I can only imagine what he'd say if he saw the tiny Bronco. People in masks cannot be trusted, but Biggs and I wear masks all the time when welding. I'm afraid there is no rest for the weary lord. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man, the Asian known as Lahabrea. This is an ideal moment to do so, while our hands are not bound dealing with another primal. At present, we know little and less about the Asians, only that destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that racks the realm, if my fears prove to be reality. We must do all in our power to stop them. Earlier, I sent word to each Grand Company to solicit cooperation. The Immortal Flames responded to the effect that they have information on a potential sighting. This is intelligence that we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with Flame Commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Uldar to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly to your discretion. But whatever you do, Never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many precautions. Be safe, Lord.